the Hebrew is much easier to remember than the English. It really is. I can't remember the English of Isaiah 53 if you paid me, but it's really easy even in my sleep to remember the Hebrew. It's made to be memorable. Okay? And it's communicating doctrine by means of the numeracy. And this is what all the KGV only people and everybody wants a translation instead are missing. The translations can't convey this. This is solid doctrine. And it's real important doctrine. And if you want proof of the tribulation, it's right here, Jack. Okay, as you're going to see as I get as I go through this. Okay, but know for now, 84 syllables is the total cumulative number of syllables by the time you end verse 4. Okay, that's divisible by 7. So what you know, the doctrine you know by this, this is a rhetorical style in the Bible. You know that something is going to get completed according to God's plan. The plan part is with the 8 syllables. All right? And it's going to end up being perfect like God is perfect in spite of the fact that we aren't. That's pretty important to know. And Isaiah is going to key off this. And you'll see in future videos how he does it. It's really amazing. Okay. When you see a verse that stands alone, that cannot be divided by a factor, because each factor rep represents something biblically significant, that means that this is something that it's useless. And if you look at verse 5, okay, you'll find out that we are useless. It's a statement about humanity's uselessness. All right? Now, when you get to the factor of two, that is the factor of the hypostatic union, God adding humanity to himself so that he can cause man to return to him. All right? If God connects humanity to himself and in that humanity pays for sin, then the, the barrier between God and man has been eliminated and therefore anyone who believes in him can be saved at which point we are connected to him and it's like a God-man nature for us in that we are not God and man in our own nature even though he is, Christ is uh, but we have the connection to God that can potentially work as well as if it were our own nature as well. That's why we have the Holy Spirit indwelling us. That's why we have the Holy Spirit filling us. That's the purpose of him going to the cross. It isn't really just to pay for sins. It's to have rapport. It's to have total connectedness to God. So when you see a verse that's divisible by two, it's telling you that doctrine. And the content of the verse itself is going to tell you that. All right, I'm going to have to leave you to look at the translations because i got to go fast now. So again, understand that these red numbers are telling you the number of syllables in the phrase just before the red number. Okay, so that's 10 there. And here's the 7. That means that there's 7 syllables here in verse 5. This signifies how many total syllables there are in the verse. And this signifies the cumulative total of syllables at that point at the end of that verse, after that verse is over. And if you see something like this, it's telling you what the factors are. The factors are biblically significant. Two is biblically significant for hypostatic union. Eight is biblically significant for the plan of God. And um, seven is biblically significant for God's perfection. All right, so when, and, and you really want to focus on these sevens because Isaiah is going to divide his entire chapter, keying off Moses doing the same thing in Isaiah 53, showing that God's perfect, perfect perfection is actually achieved despite our imperfection and that's done by having a hypostatic union the two factor okay so that's what this that's how this is color coded and what I did is I used gold because in my how God orchestrates time videos and in my juniors XLS which shows you how God plots time in 490 year increments um, which is a Bible doctrine that you can prove and you can prove it with the history too I've gone to a lot of trouble to demonstrate that um, that's in mirroring.htm. The links are in there. And the, the sevens, therefore, the 490 year qualifying periods, um, showing how the demarcation that God uses of time is in gold. So it's gold here because 490 is 70 times 7. Okay? By the same token, um, the blue one, the, well, I guess, they're, yeah, the light blue is the uh, color coding for factors divisible by 2. When you see a gray here, it means I couldn't find any factor that it was divisible into. So that's the sign of uselessness. All right, something that by itself is useless. But you'll notice that the useless becomes a paragraph that ends in a seven. So the useless is made good on. That's redemption. See? 
and I, you'll see in future videos how the 17 is part of actually you know just tell you right now this adds up to 70 and that's why it's divisible by 7 I mean the whole thing is divisible by 7 at this point but this also adds up to 70 and 70 is divisible by 7 and you'll see how Isaiah uses the 70 and how how uh, Psalm 90 uses it also in future videos okay so that's the basic scheme the color scheme and the number scheme of this page of this you know uh, Psalm 90 layout and you can download it from the video description um, and then have it yourself the only thing is you'll have to download the, the Bible works fonts there'll be a link in the sidebar allowing you to do that and that's why you'll be able to view this just like you see it here in the video now okay so wrapping up really quickly um, the red numbers signify the number of syllables in the phrase just before the red numbers the blue numbers here at the very end signify the number of syllables in the entire verse okay the boxed numbers with the factors in them usually they have factor, factors in them too represent the cumulative total which is how we get down to 350 here at the bottom verse 17 which is the last verse okay and then for colors we've got we've got seven is is in gold uh, uh, something that doesn't factor out is in gray the factor of two is in blue light blue and um, those are the only three colors really so you'll notice that Moses is factoring his oh and then dark blue is for the plan of God eight so Moses is using eights he's using twos and he's using sevens and that's real important because Isaiah is going to play off the twos he's going to set up he's going to set up these numbers in terms of twos to mirror to show the mirroring and then um, he's going to focus on everything being divisible by seven showing that perfection is reached um, so that's that's something you need to know okay and again the final the final review thing to remember is that Moses is crafting this to 350 syllables because he's telling you a timeline. Isaiah is going to update the timeline. This timeline is like a budget. This timeline is like a future calendar Israel to, was to remember. And since they memorized these words orally, when they got to 350, they were reminded that 350 years from Moses' death was the time when the human kings would begin. See, they knew all this in advance. That was the point. Prophecy is just another Bible class, but it's about something in advance so that by the time you get there, you know, you, you were able to prepare in advance, just like you would in January, prepare for December. It's that prosaic. It's not Bible codes. So with that, I'm going to stop.